The queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner, has died at the age of 83. Joining me now live is editor-in-chief of Rolling Stone Australia, Poppy Reid. Poppy, thank you so much for joining us. Huge news this morning and such a loss for the music industry. It is such a sad day for the music world um, and the world in general. Honestly, she was an icon for millions. You know, there her um, influence that she had on rock and roll, R&B, soul music, it's almost immeasurable at this point. I think, you know, you look at the influences that she had on so many great musicians from Mary J. Blige, Janet Jackson, Beyonce, Mick Jagger, who obviously you mentioned had a beautiful tribute on Twitter this morning. Um, when the family released their statement, they said that we lost a role model. And I think that part of that is because of what you'd already mentioned about the fact that she was beaten and humiliated by her ex-husband, Ike, and when she released her album Private Dancer in 84, which was a Grammy-winning album, to so many people and to her, it was the symbol of survival and a symbol of renewal as well. Yeah. And, it also, and it also took so long to get to that album, Private Dancer. She suffered a lot of hardship um, from a young age. Of course, you mentioned she was abused by her ex-husband, Ike. But after they divorced, she worked hard. She was working cabaret shows, but then she finally got that break. And when that album was released, Poppy, it really changed her entire life. It did. I mean, she moved on to do acting as well. Do you remember? She started mm. um, that Mad Max, Mad Max sorry, film, yeah. uh, Beyond Thunderdome with Mel yes. Gibson. Yeah. Um, and then she obviously released her memoir, um, I, Tina, in 1986. And that was actually co-written with a Rolling Stone writer uh, at the time, Kurt Loder, which was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, that book was made into the huge movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? Uh, and so, but yeah, you're right. You know, she had so much success late in her career and, you know, she was 69 years old when she performed on stage at the Grammys with Beyonce in 2008 wow. and looking amazing and looking and sounding amazing. Wow. And, and I think as well, uh, in terms of her legacy, no one can fault the energy that she had on stage, her voice, that big hair, those incredible costumes. That's really what made her who she was. Absolutely. You know, even to well into her 50s, 60s, you know, she was really seen as this sex symbol for music, which for me, I think is quite a powerful statement in the music industry right now. You know, we kind of look at uh, the ageism issue that we have in the industry. And it, for a lot of uh, people and a lot of fans, it tells women that they can't really have a successful commercial pop career after the age of 40. And she had a lot of her successes in her 50s. Yeah, absolutely incredible. And look, take us through the love affair she had with Australia, of course, Rugby League, uh, that huge marketing campaign, Simply the Best. It became an anthem for the league at the time and it was a, a huge coup to get her down under back in the 80s. It was massive. Yeah, I, I loved that ad. I mean, I, I don't think I was even born when that came out, but I, <laughs> I just saw it playing before and I thought, wow, what a moment. What a moment for Australia. What a moment for football. What a moment for music. Um, you know, it really, I think it started this, um, this spotlight on how we could team music with sport in such a beautiful way as well. I think that changed a lot of things when it came to advertising and that those partnerships between music and sport. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what are some of your favourite songs, Poppy? Oh, I mean, Simply the Best, incredible. Proud Mary, incredible. Um, River Deep, Mountain High, amazing. I actually feel like we're going to see a lot of those songs uh, chart in the streaming charts as well. They're going to be racing up the charts now um, due to her unfortunate passing. And I also think that a lot of her songs are going to be introduced to young music fans who have perhaps not even heard of Tina Turner before. Uh, it's a really exciting thing. They're going to be introduced to her legacy and her power that she had over us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, an incredible legacy that she leaves behind. A huge loss for the music industry. Poppy Reed, great to speak with you. Thank you very much for joining us.